right, Nikki? How you doing? Great. You're from Buffalo? I am. They had some excitement there uh, a week or so ago that with the border. Um, I don't know what happened there. Did you hear anything? Uh, I was on the ice for a camp, actually. It was my first camp back on the ice. Um, after about three months off, not skating, got back on the ice and I heard about it. I wasn't really too sure what happened, but everyone was talking about it. At All the, the scouts were just in a big race to come over to watch you. That's what happened. Yeah, it was yeah, a big shutdown at the border. Must have done that. But appreciate you coming out to, to skate today. It's great to work with a, a guy that plays pro hockey in Europe. Um, and we've got lots of cool things to talk about. You're also a great goalie coach. You offer great lessons, clinics, camps in Buffalo. It's called Velardo Goaltending. Correct. And uh, Nick's hell of a goalie, and you're going to see today when we're on the ice some of the, the great skills he has. Um, I need to get my nitro brew in here from Starbucks just to get all gassed up. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the Future Pro Sportswear that you can get on futurepro.com. So check out our clothing line. I got some of that. Nice. You should get some of that. So before we get out there, let's do a little bit of a background on you because you're an inspiration to a lot of people because you've had lots of challenges. You've had double hip surgery. You come from a Buffalo where you're not six foot four. So let's get right into it and talk about how has height affected your journey? And, and from your perspective, what's your take on the height requirements they have in the NHL? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, everyone who is watching hockey knows the trend that goalies are going in. And um, I don't think there's any changing with that anytime soon. But my biggest issue is when I see a younger goalie who um, just gives up on basically any aspirations they have when, yeah, maybe you're not going to make it to the NHL or maybe you don't um, have the ability to uh, do something like that, but you just got to make do with what you got. And that's been something that I've been trying to do. And I've been very fortunate to be able to, like you said, play professional and been doing an NHL development camp and, um, you know, starting my goalie school now. And I really think that if I just gave up and, um, you know, if, if I knew that the, the end goal wasn't going to be the NHL, if I just gave up at that point, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, wouldn't be here right now with you. And I think that's the, the takeaway message that's important that, you know, obviously in the NHL, they have a height requirement and we don't want kids to be discouraged, but yeah. we want them to have their eyes wide open that yeah. even if that doesn't end up being a possibility, you could certainly be a professional in Europe. You could certainly play in, in junior hockey, you could play college hockey. And you've battled through the, the misthinking of people about the height and the hip surgery. So Tell me about your hips and how you battle through that, because that's also inspirational. A lot of goalies now are getting hip impingement surgeries, and you had both your hips done at the same time. I did, yeah. So I had, uh, I had pretty bad hip impingement and torn labrums on both sides, and I also had uh, some bone chip, hip bone chip on, on one of the sides. So I was in rough shape, and the reason for that was I, just, I didn't have any guidance when I was, when I was younger with that type of stuff. Um, and I always kind of put it on the, the back burner where I thought oh, I'll figure it out later on. I don't have any issues, and then it just it sneaks up on you really quickly. And I didn't, you know, I, I didn't take it seriously, and ended up missing two years of hockey and two crucial years of hockey too. From basically from 18 to 20, it was about 18 months of me really not playing at all. And um, but it was a good, it was a turning point for me because now I um, I take it so seriously. And for me personally, I do about 30, 40 minutes of mobility and. Uh, dynamic stretching every single day and I mean I think you can kind of see it with my game now I have a wide wide butterfly flare and I can get into the splits and I, I, I for sure would not be playing right now at 26 26 years old I wouldn't be playing right now if I didn't have that turning point so Nicky Villardo great goaltender he's overcome the height challenges to become a very successful goalie play pure play pro in Europe and he's got a great goalie school in Buffalo. So reach out to him through Instagram or online. And we'll put in the description below how you can reach out to him. But he's a great goalie coach in Buffalo. Love working with a kid. And if you're a smaller goalie, don't be discouraged. Know what the challenge is. Understand what it is. You can prove people wrong, as my friend Nikki has. All right, Nikki. thanks for helping out today on the ice. Been very impressed with how well you're moving. Uh, and clearly you're professional. A lot of the kids we work with locally aren't gonna be moving with the explosion and the precision that you have. And the other thing that a professional goalie has is great transition skills. And earlier this year, we worked on a, a drill because somebody had asked about, well, I get into a butterfly slide and then I over slide, I over pursue. 
and I wanted to break down in the earlier videos how we can be good at stopping our slides. And so today we're going to do a drill where I have you use three options, where we're going to slide to the post, we're going to slide ahead of the post, and when we slide ahead of the post, we're going to use two techniques, where you just elevate that lead skate as you're sliding and, and create a break to stop it, which we showed in an earlier video, which I'll link in the description. We're also going to use a way that, a technique that you brought to my attention where you can use a modified VH slide. And then also the traditional, when I say traditional, the one that's used a lot today, which is going to be landing in that post in the RVH. And I think for a pro like you, you'll be able to get off the RVH quite easily to handle the attack. Whereas some younger kids are going to struggle to get out of the VH with their exits. So let's break down those three right now. Here let's we go. Skate here, get that good break. And then when Tommy swings back against the grain, go back and jam him up with that super flare butterfly you got. All right? Are you saying low every time? Yep. Yeah. All right, here we go. Perfect. Perfect. And if he does happen to score, I'm just going to edit it out anyway. All right, those are some great examples of doing that where we slide ahead of the post and we get that lead skate up to form that nice break. Show us one again without a puck. So there's a hard slide, get that lead skate up and then a quick transition back across. That's money, that's fluid, that's gold. Now, the secondary variation we're gonna do here is where you land there in almost a, a dynamic VH. So let's show the, the viewers what that looks like. Last one. All right, excellent. Now that's the second option, I love it. It's, it's a great thing, it keeps you in control. When we're using the VH that keeps that inside pad nice and vertical and really discourages him from trying to chip it over you. So now if we can do this without banging the post off, we're gonna try to do the, the variation we see quite a bit now where guys land back in the RVH. I think a professional like you will have no problem getting back to Tommy. I just think on a younger goalie, if they choose to go back to the post on this, they're gonna get quite locked and not have an ability to get back with you as he wraps it. So here's the third option, where we land on the post in the RVH or the reverse. That's all right, that's gonna look good on the video. Because we can do that in the game several times in minor hockey, right? And if we keep knocking it off in a game in minor hockey, you're gonna be getting a penalty. So obviously when we do the reverse with great power at a high level goaltender, the net's gonna come off with the pegs we got. So unless you're using NHL pegs, you're gonna be knocking the net off a lot. So let's do the same thing that we did on the other side with a couple options. First one's gonna be you're gonna do a full sliding butterfly with a good stop. And let's do a couple of those sequences. Nicely done. And the paddle is a good thing to use as well when you're going glove side to blocker side. I love it. The jam. Take away Tommy's ankles. He don't need no ankles. Excellent. Last one. Last one. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna go back to the, to the dynamic VH here. And an interesting point, I've coached goalies, I'm sure you've coached goalies too as well, that like the RVH on one post and the VH on another. And likewise, in this situation, you can use a dynamic VH where you sort of land with that inside leg almost vertical, which will also help with your transition back against the grain. And it's another option. Here we go. Three more. Two more. Nice. Last one. Last one. 
All right, great job on that. You guys who watch the channel a lot know this guy, Tommy. He runs my hockey school. He's, he's okay hands. He's uh, he's not a cognitive miser. He's very smart. He's very smart. And then over here we got Nikki. So we're gonna do a little five puck breakaway challenge. And Nikki was mentioning yesterday that you know he doesn't like shooting on guys that are getting stopping guys that don't have full gear on because he likes to throw the odd poke check. So please, Nikki, don't kill my number one shooter, okay? I can't give away all my secrets. That's though. right. How many? Breakaways out of five, are you going to stop to maintain bragging rights on this? You saw some of his cheese yesterday, right? Depends how much time he's got coming in. Is he taking his sweet old time yeah, like it's yesterday? Like a, it's like, pal, it's it's like a breakaway. shootout rules where All he's right. got nobody. So what do, you, what do you think, Tommy? Let's start with you. How many are you going to score in a five? I'm going to go for three. Three? Three yeah. goals out of five. That's a very aggressive challenge. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. I don't think you're going to get three, but what do you think, Nick? Oh, I mean, if he gets anything more than one fluke, I'm not happy with it. All right, let, let's do this then. Okay. okay. If Tommy gets one or less, you win. And he's got to be your puck B word. And you know <laughs> what that means? That means you've got to carry his bag out to his car. All right, let's do it. All right, this is puck number one. Oh, well, now the pressure's on you, Nikki. Pressure's on you. Uh-oh. We got to... Got to go four for four. All right, that's a little better. One goal, one save. All right, two for three. You gotta restart that. Dead tired, and this is where I like to take advantage of a goaltender in a in a betting game for pride. I'm probably going to lose. Um, he's a very quick kid. It's going to be tough to score in his five hole. Some of my favorite places to go. I don't like to tell people during the three puck game where I'm going to go, but I'm going to go glove side high with the first one. Second one, I'm going to go five hole, and third one, I'm going to drag to my back and go around his blocker side. The question is, do you believe me, or am I playing mental games with you? I believe you. Let's not let's not forget that I've been off for three months, but who's counting? So he's been off for three months. Anything else? New gear. He's got new, new gear. gear. New gear. He's new, in a new environment. New strange, country. strange country. He's nervous around the goat, right? Yeah. There's there's that too. Cameras are on. Cam cameras. That throws a lot of people off, including Tommy on his date night. Now listen. We're gonna maybe we'll edit that out, Tommy. Here's the rules. I got ten chances to score three pucks. I can shoot or deke either puck. I got to keep using the same puck till it goes in. You know the you know the game here. I'll figure it out if I don't figure it out. Let's go. Make some saves. Let's go. I, I can pick any puck I want. Eight. 
Take my loss. Good job, Mickey. All right, I'll take my loss.